This video is gonna be basically how I plow storage units. So we got a storage unit facility here. It's like 140 units, six buildings. Wow, this thing looks pretty fucking good. Pretty sturdy. Jeez, I might have to take it. That's good. And these are actually uh, right next to my dad's place. So I grew up literally um, right across the lawn over there on the other side. So I've literally been plowing these places since I was like 14 years old. I posted a few shorts of me getting really close to the doors and being really slow and a lot of people called me out and said it was stupid and, and not the way to do it and uh, I completely disagree with that notion. So basically how we have always plowed these storage units is we never ever ever push snow towards the units because these units bow in extremely easily. Uh, we've done it before and even when we get you know three four feet of snow um because these these drift really bad I, I think i have a picture of like a six or seven foot drift on one of these doors so we always do the middle first and we do little by little we don't um bite off more than we can actually chew and try not to push any snow to these doors because we are in charge of shoveling them out too that's actually a separate price in this location as you can see here i have around three maybe four feet there and more like two feet down there of snow left so as I go to these doors I'm actually not going to plow up close to them first obviously I have my plow fully angled away from the building. Somebody called me out in one of my short videos and said I didn't have my plow fully angled away from the building, which is completely false. I obviously do. It wouldn't make any sense to have it in scoop because you're going to be putting a ton of snow back into the doors. We want to eliminate as much shoveling as we can just because it's how fast it is. So as you can see there, I did almost to the doors i left about a foot and a half left i always make sure the trucks in four-wheel drive because you can hit some ice and and swing the rear end into the units itself so always have your truck in four-wheel drive always have your blade facing completely fully out that way it's winging away from the storage units i always when i'm getting this close to the doors i'm always plowing on my driver's side i never ever go up against the building on the opposite side because my visibility is bad. So what I do is I stick my head completely out the window like this. And there's actually a concrete slab that these are sitting on and I can actually feel my plow hitting the slab. So that's what I go off. That concrete slab is a little bit in from these green columns. So I go a little bit in I slowly go. And I literally get anywhere from within a couple inches to six inches away from the green columns. Obviously with this wet and heavy snow, I'm gonna still have some runoff regardless. But I am making it much easier on us and our shovel crew by doing this. So the most time consuming thing is the shoveling. It's not the plowing, the plowing's fast. I'm obviously going slow because I'm taking a, a video doing this, but the plowing's fast. So if you can get the most of the snow with your plow safely when you're doing storage units, that's the way to go. A lot of people are like, well, you should stay two or three feet away. Well, yeah, that's great, but I also don't want to be shoveling here all day. So the best way to do it and I've done it just about every way is to get as much as you can with your truck first and then shovel after. Like I said, the time consuming part is shoveling, not plowing. So that's how we do it. That's how I've always done it. I fucked up a few times when I was younger, but I was also very stupid and always in a constant rush. But I haven't made a ding or a dent in these and it's probably going on seven, eight years now. So, so just for you guys that commented on my short video, giving me crap about being too close, um, I'm really not. I mean, it's as long as you're plowing on the driver's side, sticking your head out the window, truck and four-wheel drive, using extreme caution, 
obviously I wouldn't want one of my guys doing this because it is risky but obviously with me been doing these forever and really had little to no issues this is how we do them so obviously when we get seven foot drifts you can't um, go close to the building with a plow truck you have to actually bring a skid steer and back drag it I also uploaded a short which went really viral I think that one got like over four million views of me back dragging these doors with a skid steer a lot of people are like well I'll just use a truck well you can't use a truck when there's seven feet of snow by the doors if you use a truck to go on the long side of it you would literally just blow all these doors in so we when there's massive storms we use a skid steer and we carefully go in we use our boom because we have a teleskid carefully go in back drag everything and then go in with a plow and get the rest that we can all these doors have handles on them and number one if there is built up ice your plow can actually go up onto the slab and catch the handles but if you're careful you'll stay far enough away but every once in a while somebody will leave rope onto those handles at this storage unit you're not allowed to anymore but one time we were plowing like literally in the middle of the the parking lot and all of a sudden a door flew off of the building and it's because somebody left like an eight foot piece of rope that was attached to the handle and the whole entire door came off because of it so obviously before you start even thinking about doing a storage in your place make sure that the ropes are prohibited and you can't allow any ropes on these doors and if you're wondering in the video where all these dings came from on all the green columns no they're not me I think I have two scars in this place that are visible but they did go with a lower bidder one year and he completely destroyed the place in one season and they didn't hire him back so it's just a video you know I just kind of wanted to explain how uh, I've always done these storage units on them for a long time really had no issues figured maybe I'd uh, share my tips and maybe you guys could try it so that just about does it for the video um, basically the main principles is never push any snow towards the doors and always plow as much as you can safely obviously go extremely slow um, it's very easy to rip open these things they rip open like tuna cans and they can be very expensive to fix so get as much as you can with the plow go slow every truck in full wheel drive always plow on the driver's side and have the truck do the majority of the work and not the shovelers again shoveling is the time consuming thing especially if you let two to three feet go out um, you can really shave time down by going slow with your truck plowing on your driver's side door and going extremely slow another tip is always keeping your head out the window when you're close to these doors that's a huge help and gives a good vantage point for you to make sure you're not gonna smack into these doors other than that thanks for watching if you like this video give it a like and if you like this video i got plenty more like them thanks a lot